I, I'm, I'm right with you. I'm, I'm, I'm a huge nerd. I love Apollo. I love Mercury. I love all of that stuff. So how would you feel playing puzzle? I mean, terrifying. Like, I really thought any day that the real colonel would show up on the set and say, you're making me into a whip. <laughs> you know, he, he, he punched a guy. Did you see that on YouTube? Oh, God. Did anybody, did anybody not know that story? This guy, this, this guy, he's like, Buzz is like 70, what, 7 now, 78 years old, and there's a guy following him around saying he didn't land on the moon. So there's this wonderful YouTube shot, right? And Buzz is just trying to go into the office. He's like, leave me alone, leave me alone, leave me alone. And this guy, who's like 6'5 and 25 years old, is like, you're a fake. You never went to the moon. You're a liar. Blah, blah, blah. And, and Buzz is like, step off, man. Step off now. Step off right now. And finally, Buzz just turns around and clocks him. <laughs> just dicks him right out. One shot guy down with the sack of potatoes, and then Buzz sued him and won. <laughs> so I was terrified. Terrified. Because like all the time like the director would be like, that was a great take, James, if we're doing 30 something. You're playing a fighter pilot. Don't cry. <laughs> so and then I, I heard that uh, Buzz saw the the, the the show and he actually thought it was really good. And, and I'm the only one to play Buzz Aldrin as the lead. Uh, he's all, always just been a side character in different movies, and I'm the only one to really give him what he deserves. So, thank you. TV show shows a rape, I'm likely to throw a brick through the TV. Like, I have to turn it off. I will, I've walked out of movies just because I didn't expect that scene. It comes up, and I feel like killing somebody. So, I literally was on my hands and knees on the set, staring at the concrete, thinking if I just, if I can bash my head hard enough on this concrete, I can, I can, I can go through the concrete and then fly away. Seattle, Washington, 
And uh, I watched the guy playing the, 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 the lead role make every mistake he could possibly make to the point that the audience actually laughed at it. And I just remember I was like laying on the, you know, on the dead soldier stage left or whatever, and I'm like cocking my eyes going, okay, don't do that. Don't do that. That's a mistake. And then so when I got the title role uh, later, uh, two years later in a smaller theater company, uh, I did, I fought the director every step of the way and got my way. And the audience was weeping by the end. It, and we got standing ovations every time. And I do believe that I know how to make that play fly. And that Patrick can do half of what I did. <laughs> he's a better actor than I am. Patrick's a better actor. But that one show, I know exactly where the, me where the mechanism is and which strings to pull on that show. Yeah. <laughs> System, so this is my lunch. <laughs> um, uh, uh, lunch, lunch, lunch. Okay, you talked about food, which now I don't remember the question. <laughs> oh yeah, um, we told the producers it took 40 minutes, which was a lie. It actually took 20 minutes, but we never told them it took 20 minutes because if you tell the producers it takes 20 minutes, it lasts for 15 minutes. And yeah, uh, but yeah, basically uh, 20 minutes. Uh, uh, the only person to, to win an award off of Buffy was the makeup man. Uh, and he was, he was radical, man. He was all mad at David. Like, because uh, I came on the show after David, and David didn't want to do the whole vampire thing. He didn't want to shave clothes. He didn't want to be pale and all that stuff. So, uh, Todd McIntosh was this guy's name. And he, my first day at work, he comes up and he goes, okay, vampires don't sweat. And vampires' head, hair doesn't grow. And he does all oh, this big list of things. And I have to never get a tan, and I'm just like, okay, right on, love it. And and, and we kind of fell in love with each other because we we're both freaks. <laughs> like Todd, Todd um, took care of his mom when he was a kid, uh, and his mom had a wasting disease, and she felt basically kind of just devolved into the bed. And he took care of her when he was like seven years old, and it really affected him. So today, like he would, we would come back from lunch, and he would he would have been doing homework uh, for burn victims. And he would, after lunch, he would, he would be doing my makeup to go back on set and he'd show, show me a book of burn victims and say, isn't this wonderful? <laughs> Constantly, he was, he, was, he was a freak, he's a genius. Just an absolute <laughs> mad genius. In his, in his, I went to his house and in his, in his, uh, in, in his uh, uh, living room, he's got a charred skeleton praying to God. Full, full life, you know, as big as life. Yeah. 